I'm creating this game using cave um, and I want to have like my more realistic world and scenario and so this is why I'm using for example Quixel Mega Scans for the rocks and all that and the new terrain system that cave have but I do want to place for example grass all over the place in this terrain um, so you can see over there that I do have some grass, uh, grass meshes here already that I want to start placing and I even have a palm tree, very nice. Um, so how can I place this in cave? Right now, the only way to do this is by selecting the grass and duplicating this. I can hold Alt and G to create copies and that's it. So this is how I pretty much can add um, stuff to my terrain. By the way, I'm using the terrain system, let me show this real quick and it is very easy can quickly edit my terrain in any ways i want i can scope this let's add some noise here to create like some mountains in the distance let's use the erosion to make them look good you get the idea this is not new for cave but what is new and i'm still working on it by the way is the new manipulation tool so instead of adding all the shrubs here by hand let me delete them what i can do instead is go here to the geometric paint tool it is work in progress by the way i just want to showcase uh, and then i can create a new layer you can see here that i already have a a brush that i can change the size and it allows you to paint stuff on everything even like in the player, whatever, but I cannot do anything because I don't have a layer. So if I click here to create a new layer, I can. I need to select an entity template to start painting. So let's go ahead and drag and drop the shrub here. So you can see they already have the shrub and this simple, it is already done and I can already start painting. Let me hold control to delete this. Maybe I want to adjust the distance here a little bit. So they are a little bit more further away from each other good and I can also adjust for example uh, right now it is creating everything in the root folder maybe I want to create this inside this vegetation folder so I can add a parent entity here select the vegetation and it will be all created inside the folder which is more much more organized for me uh, let me actually adjust the minimum and maximum height of this so it randomizes very nicely the height of this uh, shrubs and maybe I will increase the size a little bit because now they're huge. So let's go ahead and paint this all over the place, just an example. I'll also go back here to my manipulation tool. I'll select terrain and edit because um, I noticed that this is not level, you can see here. So I need to move this up a little bit. So let's go to the maybe flatten. I really increase the size of my brush. And I'll flatten the terrain up a little bit. Here we go. Of course, I can do a more precise work later on off camera, but this is just for demonstration purposes. And also, since I'm here, I don't really like this test that I was doing, so I'll go to the texture paint, select my terrain mask, and I'll delete this. I don't want this in the way. Here we go. Now let's go back to the geometry paint tool and maybe add more stuff here. Here we go. Uh, and last but not least, let's add a bunch more actually. Let's go ahead and add some trees. So I'll click here to create a new layer. I will minimize the shrub. I'll actually deselect the shrub as well. And I will go ahead and put my palm tree here. Um, this, let's actually make it much larger and I'll actually increase the spacing between the palm trees because I have a feeling that this is too much something that you can see is that the it is creating one palm tree inside another palm tree not inside another but uh, on top of another you can see it just created one right here uh, this is because the palm tree does have collisions uh, and I can handle this for example selecting the palm tree going to the collision masks here let's make it not belong to the beat 7 
this is very common in cave now back to the geometry paint i'll click here to not paint on the bit 7 of the collision masks and now this problem is gone so very easily i can start painting a bunch of geometry here and also i'm satisfied i can go back to the manipulation tool or i can just remain the geometry paint tool and i can play the game and see everything in action maybe i should write a, a, a custom shader to make this palm trees react as i'm uh, walking there oh here we go <laughs> you can see over there clearly that i do have one tree inside another because i probably added this before um changing the masks uh something that you can do very easily here is this geometry paint the way it is meant to work uh, this is literally painting actual three three uh, actual instances in the world so what you can do here is go ahead locate the tree here we go this is the tree and you can either move them or delete them manually as you can see here so again it's a very simple tool but at the same time it is very powerful if i go back to the geometry tool let's minimize a palm tree i'll create a new layer let's create some crates maybe maybe there's weeds here i like the weed so i'll create this weed i mean this sounded weird but you you got the uh, the weed that i said that i like anyways so you can see that i can create random weed here let's make them much larger here you go and I'll also select here the shrub here so I can paint both the weed and the shrub at the same time now it's very dense as you can see so maybe I will increase the spacing between each weed and also the spacing between each shrub so it's less dense here you go and this simple we can go ahead and paint stuff i can delete stuff i can paint again it is colliding us again with the my palm tree but it's fine again i can go ahead and manually delete things if i want so this is the current situation now i have a giant forest okay good um i need to figure out some stuff regarding the performance as well because uh, right now, the engine is currently rendering everything. I mean, you meant for it to render everything, and I don't have any level of detail. So it is currently on the red side. It's rendering 2.5 million triangles every single frame, which is not very ideal. Um, it is doing quite a lot of work here to optimize the draw calls and all that but maybe we can improve for example the shadow pass it is hindering everything at the highest level of detail so i can for example select the shrub here um i can edit the mesh let's go ahead and edit the mesh right here i don't remember which one it uses so let's go ahead and edit the mesh here and i can generate for example level of details here allows it uh, to use the last level of detail to improve the shadow generation so this is 32 polygons it's much lower uh, poly right now and I can do the same here for the um, for the shrub this is not the shrub this is the shrub I can adjust the level of detail here anyways so there's a lot of optimizations that you can do in the engine to improve the performance uh, it is already a little bit better just by changing this but anyways, this is work in progress once again, but I wanted to keep you guys updated on everything that I'm doing. Uh, the goal here with this game in particular, I want to make like a very good looking game, not necessarily a good game, but a good looking one. Uh, and of course, as you can see, I'm clearly uh, getting some inspirations from uh, The Last of Us. Uh, it will be a zombie game, so we will be shooting zombies and going to a city very soon. Uh, so this is why I'm trying to block this environment here so yeah that's it for this video just an update for, for you guys to know what i've been working on let me know in the comments what you think about this uh geometry paint tool i know that many people has been uh, waiting for it for a long time so it is coming there's a lot uh necessary to do in the engine yet before it is so 
uh, fully supported, but I'm thinking about releasing it as a work in progress experimental uh, feature for you to just get started and, and have an idea on how it works. So let me know in the comments as well about this. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.